Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to a uh, Monday afternoon, 4th of July uh, beer review. Uh, today I'm going to go back to another brewery I've tried before. Um, I've reviewed three of their beers. I really like two of them. The other one was okay. Um, this one sounds interesting. This is this is again from Brow Brothers. It's their Sheephead Ale. Um, on the website it says a their style is an estate hopped Lucan Ale. Um, they say hop heads in southwest Minnesota have long, long been a growing but starving population. After numerous requests for a mouth puckering hoppy beer, we stepped up to the plate with Sheephead Ale. This beer is named after a fam favorite family pastime, Sheephead. Apparently a card game. I've never heard of it. Hops dominate with a balance of spicy herbal hops up front, followed by the citrus and grass of American hops. Malt is not forgotten by means of heavily toasted and chocolate malt. This is a great beer for a long winter session of card playing with uh, family. Comes in at 7.7 ABV and 88 IBUs. Um, beer Advocate has this at a, as a uh, American IPA. Uh, great beer has it just as an American Pale Ale, so I'll just stick with it and I will call it a in a state hopped Lucan Ale. Um, the cap is, it's a nice little cap, but uh, they're all the same. The labels are all the same except for the name of the beer. So, I've already got one. Let me get this off and see what we have here. I have not had this one before. Oh yeah, and uh, Beer Advocate says it's a, uh, a seasonal beer. Great beer has got it as a year-round beer. It just did appear on our shelves, so I'm guessing the, I don't know. Oh, we've got a nice, clear, dark amber, almost, almost ruby red. Beer, not a ton of uh, carbonation streaming up. Not much at all. Got a nice finger of Slightly off-white head. Let's give it a smell and see what we have here. Oh, wow. You get your hoppiness right up front. They're definitely floral hops. A little pininess, kind of like an IPA. A little bit of muskiness to it. You do get your malts. There's some cit citrus in there, too. Definite, definite fruitiness. This, oh, this smells good. This smells like an IPA. Um, so, let's give it a taste and see what follows. A little caramel, a little citrus right up front. Mixed in with some nice floral hops. Need a little, little alcohol and maltiness in the in the aftertaste. This has definitely got a nice hoppy background. Um, let's see how this changes as it warms up. I have a feeling this is right out of the fridge. I have a feeling as this warms up. This is gonna gonna change quite a bit, so I'll be back in a few uh, with my final thoughts. And yeah, I'm back. It's um, been 15 minutes or so. I forgot to read what's on the on the bottle. It says it's the official card game of the Brow family. Sheephead is often a bitter affair. Hops trump this ale, featuring four spicy varieties and generous additions. Finally, an extended period of dry hopping brings it all together. Malt is not completely far forgotten. There's multiple toasted malt. Do not fail to add balance and structure to this intense ale. Our game is as unique as our beer. Both the Brow family treat. Um, I really don't know how to classify this beer. Um, it's a bit misleading. It's not quite as hoppy and as I mean, it's it's as hoppy. It's not as bitter as they said. As it warmed up, the the malts came to the forefront a little more and. Uh, I mean, it's still a hoppy beer, but the malts came forward and really, uh, really uh, 
took care of the hops as far as the bitterness. Um, the hops that you smell in the, in the nose, especially initially, they're not as nearly nearly as prevalent in, in the flavor as they are in, in the aroma. But uh, this is still a darn good beer. Um, I still don't know how to classify it as a IPA or a pale ale. Um, sort of in between, I think. So I'll just keep it as a uh, an estate hopped Lucan Ale. Um, I gotta, I don't know. Is is a category? I just, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it as a beer I like because there's no, I don't know what category it is, but it's darn good. I'm gonna give this nine out of ten. So so far, three of the four Brow Brothers beers I've tried, um, the Van Kriegie and the the uh, Forgotten Phlegm and this are excellent beers. The strawberry wheat was not so good, but I mean it wasn't bad. It just wasn't outstanding, but this is a good, good, solid, nice, refreshing beer. Um, so, till next time everybody, cheers. If you can, you can see that. That has beautiful lacing all the way down the glass. It's just, it's just gorgeous. This is a nicely done beer. So, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.